Hello everyone. So in today's tutorial, I will be sharing with you how to make grass reflection in Canva. So let's start with it. So I will be choosing a custom size design and I will be using width and height as 600 across 800 because the picture I will be using the height is in 3 is to 2 format but we have to make a reflection so I will take white is to height as 3 is to 4 as you can see 600 is to 800 ok so let's create a new design ok so this is the image I will be using I will click and bring it here and just extend it ok so after that we have to make a reflection so how to do it so I will duplicate it place it right here and flip flip to vertical ok so this is the first step to make a reflection so before making the next effect I will request all of you to please subscribe to the channel so that we can get more motivated to bring new tutorial for you for absolutely free so let's start with it so as you know uh, in a reflection the image is not fully transparent so we have to make it for the first step we have to make it a bit blurry so we will bring on here and uh, we will make it blurry ok so for this image 20 is good now we will work on the transparency because as you know the picture is also not fully transparent when it comes to reflection so this is the one now to make both this layer separate we will go to elements and we will click on shadow ok we will bring this shadow and we will just set it right here and we will just crop the upper layer ok so it is creating a shadow now to make it more realistic we have uploaded this water droplets so as you can see it is here so you have to keep it in mind one thing that the water droplets need not be much bigger so that uh, one can easily understand uh, that it is uh, artificially created reflection so you have to keep the water droplets a bit smaller in size and let us duplicate it bring it here ok make it duplicate another time and just paste it here so I will duplicate it here place it right here again duplicate it place it right here and this also duplicate but you have to keep it in mind that the same droplet can't come twice so we will flip it this uh, for this big droplet one and we will just submerge it here ok so this we have created a water droplet effect so that it becomes more realistic now to for the second phase of it let's go to gradients and I will choose this one you can choose any if you want but for this I will be using this gradient and I will decrease the transparency So as you can see this reflection is quite beautifully done and it is looking quite beautiful in this image. So I will share 
this droplet effect with you and you can make your image accordingly so hope you like this tutorial and please stay tuned for no more new tutorials and we will come back with a fresh tutorial for you shortly thank you